Um, so I've got a whole lot of campaign issues that I've uh, pledged to undertake. So free swimming for under fives, for example, and extend that to guardians. Uh, we want to see um, transport uh, easing congestion at the basin, some transport improvements around there. But the headline priorities for the next 12 months, but also for the next three years, will be three things. It'll be economy, so jobs here in Wellington. Two thirds of Wellingtonians aren't born here. We want to make sure that uh, we have plenty of jobs on offer here in the capital. Transport, um, so the Get Welly Moving project, easing uh, congestion at the basin. And then third, housing. Uh, we know that we've got an issue in, around housing in New Zealand. We want to make sure that doesn't become a problem in Wellington. We don't want to be another Auckland. If you only have to look back to the 1980s and the difference um, in Wellington and the type of city it was, I mean, look at Wellington today. It's a place that attracts people to come and live here. It's a vibrant city. Um, people want to move here from not only other parts of New Zealand, from other parts of the world as well. And we determine uh, what Wellington looks like, you know, whether we build a stadium down the waterfront, or whether we're building transport solutions uh, where we live. Is it the CBD or do we, do we spread out into the suburbs? So I want to focus on, on things that I can do immediately. We want to build a film museum just down the road here on Cable Street and Wakefield Street. We want to make sure that that happens uh, within the next three years. I think that'll be a huge magnet for tourism. It'll be the single largest tourist attraction in New Zealand, I believe. Is this going to be a big spend council? <laughs> no, I don't think so. We'll take every decision uh, in isolation and we'll decide, look, is this in the best interest of Wellington? If it is, we'll do it. And if it's not, we won't. Favourite bar in the city? Oh, well, I quite like um, Golden's Free Dive, but Havana's good too. So um, if I'm taking friends from outside of town, we'd pop along there uh, for a drink. On that topic, the police are trying to introduce more strict licences, particularly for bars down on Courtney Place. What do you make of what they're trying to do with bringing in, say, one-way door policies or earlier closing times? Uh, the police is having a very important job. They want to make sure our city's safe. They want to make sure Wellingtonians are safe. So I've got enormous respect for the job they do. Uh, however, we have to be really careful. We've got a, um, we've got national default hours, and we've also got um, local alcohol policies um, that councils are responsible for. So it's important that councils do that, uh, and the police don't determine the hours. We want to make sure that when people are drinking, they're doing so in a safe way too. But they're better off um, perhaps doing that inside um, establishments rather than outside on the streets.